The Ring of Honor Pure Championship on the line in our main event. The champion, Wheeler Yuta, in charge of the Challenger Commander. There you see at the bottom of your screen as we cross the seven-minute mark, Wheeler Yuta still has two rope breaks remaining, but crucially, Ian, Commander expended one of his during picture-in-picture. Picture. Certainly did. Wheeler Yuta able to guide Commander toward the ropes. So first to break as Commander rolling through, driving Yuta into the turnbuckle. Yuta wrenched his neck there. Commander with an opportunity. A tight hook inside cradle. And Yuta able to kick out. Commander almost stole it right there, guys. Absolutely, and, and this is why I think we can see a new champion here tonight. It's not just the heart, it's not just the pace, it's not just the high flying. Commander presents a matchup nightmare for Yuta coming out of that FTW title bout, having to fight different styles of opponents on different nights. As Commander off the rope, turns into a drop kick. Great body control in midair by Commander. Yeah, we've seen Commander with great body control on the top rope, but there you go. Like you said, Excalibur, great body control on the middle rope. Commander, look at this. Leaps up to that middle turnbuckle. Wow. DDT plants Wheeler Yuta. Oh, he finds the champion. Cover here. Commander. No, Yuta. Yeah, great effort to get the body on it, but it wasn't going to be really holding down for three. You see the hype man, Alex Abrahantes. Arguing the call, but referee Stefan Smith, he was on target with that one. And remember, as we see that timer tick ever and ever upwards, should this match go to a 20-minute time limit draw, it will go to the judges. Jimmy Jacobs, Pat Buck, and Christopher Daniels. But Commander right now, he's struggling because of the damage done to that left shoulder, Ian. Absolutely driven into that corner repeatedly, but he just needs his balance. He just needs those quads, those hamstrings to do some dangerous up top. Oh! No, no. Phoenix splash, but Commander landed on his feet, and now Yuta! No! Drives down, Commander! The cover, the leg is hooked, and Whoa. Commander kicks out. Yeah, Yuta doing a little bit of celebrating before he made the uh, pinning. Oh, uh, the pin that time. And that double wrist lock is cinched in tight as Commander, he's, every time he's been locked in this hole thus far, he's made it to the ropes. He's been forced to expend a rope break. And I think Yuta may be banking on that. Yuta's done a great job of grounding Commander in this match, guys. Certainly has, and Yuta this time. Commander has used his third and final rope break. All three rope breaks have been expended, exhausted by Commander, and now Yuta is smiling ear to ear, Tony. He's gonna try to do it once again. He's gonna try to make Commander go to the ropes. And if he does, Ian, there is no, there is no break. Nope, certainly not. It's something Nigel McGinnis perfected so well in his carry. Wait a minute! Commander, the roll up! And that's what Commander's gonna need to do here. He's gonna need to make a move. He's gonna need to make it quick, fast. Catch Yuta off guard with something like that, that beautiful Hurricane Rana. One, two, two and Yuta able to kick out. Roundhouse kick, Ooh. missed, but the back heel kick didn't. As Commander fighting with one arm, but he making the most out of his legs as he accelerates into the ropes. Step up and wow. oh, Yuta hangs on to the bottom rope. Great counter by Yuta. German wow. suplex. The bridge. Two. And Commander kicks out, but Yuta maintains waist control. Yeah, great drop step that time by Yuta to get that control that time with that. Oh, wait, Yuta. He's got the seatbelt locked in, but wait. Oh, Commander. Commander countered it. Two and no. Oh. And you know, the, the inventor of that seatbelt, it's Skyda. That was Commander's maestro. That's why he was able to counter it, but Yuta hammered with those elbows. Oh. Commander fading. Certainly is. Grabs a hold of that wrist. That double wrist lock is in. And Commander, he's near the ropes, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't he's, matter. He's exhausted all those breaks. There is no breaks, Stephon Smith says. Oh, look at the look on Alex Ever. I didn't the sense at all. Yeah. The winner of this match and still Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Euler Yuta. Two defenses of the Ring of Honor Pure Championship in seven days' time. A great win to cap off a great night of action here on Rampage, Ian. Certainly is Wheeler Yuta. Continues to write his name in the Ring of Honor history books, sitting under 40 days away from breaking the record for most days as Pure Champion. And if I'm a betting man, it's hard to bet against Wheeler Yuta right now. With the Black Bull Combat Club at his side, Wheeler Yuta just grows more and more dangerous as each day passes. And there, Yuta almost mockingly observing the code of honor. Congratulations, Wheeler Yuta and fans.
We will see you tomorrow night right back here on TNT Live for Collision. Eddie Kingston looks to defend his Continental Crown against Trent Barretta plus FTR, House of Black.